How much do you worry about how you're going to make money from filmmaking in the next five to ten years? D does it, because it's one project to the next, and there's it's not a guaranteed, you know, forty-hour week job. How much do you worry about that? Oh, I I'm constantly terrified about paying my bills. People tell me it's irrational, <laughs> but I, I'm constantly terrified uh, because. It, nothing is guaranteed in the film business, and I think it's important perhaps that I do have that healthy, terrified thing in the back of my head. And I've been fortunate so far that when I'm not directing a project, I might direct an ad campaign, or I might do some kind of commercial, or do some kind of uh, something that's about storytelling, but not storytelling in a film. Uh, so those are ways that I pay my bills when I'm not directing other projects. But I'm always worried about that. I think that if you ever arrive at a point where you're not, perhaps you've gotten a little complacent because then you're kind of this uh, Jack Dawson on top of the world kind of thing and the Titanic's about to hit and you have no idea. You've got to always be prepared and I think that having that healthy skepticism not only about your work but also about your career and your future uh, enables you to work a little bit harder in the present. So if you're involved in one project and you know it's going to end on this date, do you, are you already planning for the next or do you give yourself a couple of days of downtime so, and then regroup? Like how, how is it that you keep stuff in the pipeline? Because sometimes it, it, all, it comes all at once and you can't space it out. That's true. Sometimes there are moments in your career where everything does come at once. So what I try to do uh, if I have a big project that I'm working on is I try to schedule vacation in advance of the project. So say for example I have a film that ends or a project that ends on April 10th. Uh, I might schedule a vacation to Peru or Turkey or somewhere for two or three weeks after that. So I just step away entirely and I make myself do it because when I step away that enables me to reset and refresh. And whilst I'm making that project before I go on vacation, I'm always trying to figure out what comes after. Uh, I try not to be in a position where I have no idea what comes next. It's the same thing uh, that I kind of deem as taking your career seriously. When you finish a project, whatever it is, it may be a movie, an ad campaign, documentary, a book, whatever it is, people are going to ask you what you're doing next. And if you can't identify that, or if you can't say, well, here's a screenplay I wrote, or here's a project that I've been developing, uh, people don't see you as playing that long-term game. You've got to be able to play the long-term game and really say, five to ten years from now, this is what I want to make, this is my plan. It may not come to fruition exactly the way you expect, but if you have some kind of pathway to get there, you're going to have a lot better chance. Mm -hmm. I've heard a few people say that they love that space of the unknown. Mm -hmm. that they I don't. Actually, you don't like no. it? Okay. I do not like the space of the unknown. Uh, I think that for me, and, and perhaps this has to do with me losing my father at a younger age unexpectedly, um, I think that for me, I always want to have an idea of what I'm doing next. Now, that's not to say that I'm not open to a project that might come across my desk or something new. That happens all the time. But if I don't have an idea of what the next two or three things are going to be, that makes me panic because of the financial reason you just talked about. Because then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. I'm not going to be able to live in a lifestyle that I'm comfortable with. Uh, what am I going to do? And so I think for me, it's always knowing what's going to come next, having an idea about what it is so I can be thinking about it and plotting it creatively, talking to actors and DPs, editors, my team that I like to work with, and, and really understand that. But if something new comes across my desk, that can be exciting and you have to be open to that as well. Okay, great. But vacation is just as important. Vacation is very important, I think. Yeah, that's true, to get yourself out of I think it's super important. I mean, for me, and not everyone does it, but like, you know, everyone has their own thing. But for me, it's when I do a big project, I go overseas. I go far away for several weeks. That's, for me, what I do. And that enables me to really reset. Do you think it's just the physical act of getting out of LA? It's it's not just about LA, it's like the US in general. It's like leaving, like physically picking up and saying I'm in a foreign country and I'm not turning my cell service on, it's off and you can't reach me for three weeks because that enables me to do a couple of things. It enables me to uh, 
to see things in a different light, to see another culture and understand something. I think that's so important as a filmmaker. You've got to understand other things, not just what you're familiar with, which comes back to my upbringing in a small town where I had to always imagine things. Now I'm at a place in my life where I can actually go see things and do things. And so I think that for me, that's really important. It's, it's something I need, it's sustenance. I, if, I, if I stay in one place for so too long, I feel really cagey.